In 2018, CASE announced AM Atlas, our initiative to be the global resource for education advancement related metrics, benchmarks, and analytics. As part of AM Atlas, CASE is pleased to offer its members free access to DataMiner as a member benefit. The new VSE DataMiner platform is designed to make it easy to create, save, copy, and edit reports. You can quickly generate reports for multiple data variables across several years for one or more comparison groups and individual institutions. To create a new report in DataMiner, open the Reports option on the menu and select New Report. The Edit Input screen will display. To run a report in DataMiner, you must select at least one comparison group or institution, at least one variable, and at least one year. Use the arrow to the right of each input type to expand and collapse that input menu. Browse or search for a comparison group or individual institution. The VSE staff members have created a number of comparison groups for use by all DataMiner users. You can also create your own personal comparison groups and even share them with other users from your institution. Watch our video on comparison groups to learn how to do so. When you find a comparison group or institution you want to use, click the plus sign to the right of its name and add it to the report. The selection is added to the list of selected report inputs on the right. Repeat to add more groups and institutions as desired. Next to each comparison group you add to the report, you will see a box checked by default asking if you want to include detail. Including detail means that when you run your report, DataMiner will automatically generate one report that includes data for each institution within the comparison groups you have selected and a separate report of summary or aggregated data. If you uncheck this box, DataMiner will only return the summary report. To select variables, you can browse or search variable families, which are groupings of related variables, or individual variable names. Using partial words may retrieve more results. For example, typing C-O-R-P returns results with the word corporate or corporation in the name. You can add all of the variables within a variable family to your report at once by clicking the Add button, the magnifying glass with the plus sign inside it. You can also click the search button or empty magnifying glass to view and search the variables within the family and select them individually for inclusion in your report. If you prefer to browse or search for individual variables by their names, you can skip variable families and go directly to the variables section. Finally, select the year or range of years you want to include in your report. If you wish to remove any of your selections before running the report, click the X next to it. For the best data miner performance, if you are using a comparison group with a large number of institutions, for example, the group that includes all U.S. higher education institutions, or reporting on a long range of years, it is preferable to limit the number of variables you select. Creating more focused reports is also better for spotting trends in the data. Contact the Case VSE staff if you would like to discuss your data needs and get recommendations on structuring your reports. When you are done making your selections, click the Run Report button at the bottom right. The Inputs portion of the screen will collapse, and you will see tabs, the Info tab for general information about the report, the Detail Report, 
the summary report, and a drill down chart. To learn more about the different tabs and manipulating the on-screen view of reports, including sorting in place and showing and hiding columns, view our data miner video on working with reports on screen. You can download the detail and summary reports as CSV files. For reports that include a custom chart, like the case VSE staff created homepage featured reports, you will also have the option to download the chart as a PDF or JPEG file. Depending on your browser settings, you may have to navigate to your downloads folder to locate the report. Downloaded summary reports include additional columns hidden by default in the on-screen view with averages, minimum and maximum values, and more. You can save your report to use again or edit in the future. Give the report a title and optionally a description. Those with the permissions can share their report with other data miner users at their institution or unit. Others will be able to view but not edit the original report. They can make a copy of it for themselves that they can edit. Set the report status. If you select inactive, the report will not be viewable by others if you have shared it until you change the status to active. Click Save. During your data miner session, reports that you have opened or created, even if untitled and not yet saved, as well as featured reports, will appear on the Reports menu under Open Reports. They will show even if you navigate to a different screen. You can easily reopen a report by clicking its title there. There is also a Saved Reports menu item where you can find reports you have saved, as well as reports shared with you by others at your institution and by the case staff. You can search the report titles, filter the view to see only the reports you have created, only those shared with you by others, or all of those. When you locate the report you would like to view, edit, or copy, click the load icon. Once open, editing or copying and editing a report is simple. Use the Edit button, not the Edit Inputs button, to change a report's title, description, share setting, and active status. For reports you created yourself, you do not have to copy the report before editing. Expand the Edit Inputs section. This is the same as it was for creating a new report. You can view the current input selections, edit them, run the report with your new selections, and save. However, if you edit in this way without first copying the report, you will be saving your new version of the report over the original version. That is, replacing the original version. So be sure to copy the report first if you wish to maintain the original version and save the edited version separately with a different name. For reports created by others and shared with you, you will only have the option to copy the report before you can edit it. This concludes our review of how to create and edit data miner reports. View our other data miner instructional videos for tutorials on creating and editing comparison groups, working with reports on the screen, and more. Contact the CASE VSE staff at vse at case.org or 917-336-4023 for assistance using Data Miner or to request a complimentary Data Miner training session.